I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wrong in mine. What? I'm freaking out. Uh, <laughs> this season on the sibling cook-off. More drama. I wasn't talking to you. I was literally right there. New oh, recipes. Bow, bow, bow. Chili con carne. More sibling rivalry. Yeah. Okay. But then. Don't touch it. New judges. More craziness. Look at you this. It looks like. Shit. Yeah. Get the out. <laughs> My name is Erwin Yusa. <laughs> And I'm Selene Yusa. The winner. And you're annoying Wait, me. I'm not gonna put in your mouth. And welcome to the Sibling, sibling Cook Off! In this episode of the Sibling Bake Off, we take on a recipe that we've never done before. And that recipe is. Buko pie. We all love buko pie. When people drive to Tagaytay or Cavite or any of those areas, um, people buy buko pie and bring it home. But, genius, you can make it at home. I've never made it. I've never made it either, so, so it's the first. This is gonna be interesting, because I made the pie crust a while ago. Also the first time to make pie crust. So we'll see how, how that works out for us. I made the pie crust for the most of us, so that way at least it's fair. Um, all we can do now is work on the filling. The filling. I, I don't know if I'm confident. I'm doing mine with, I made a dried mango syrup um, and a cashew cream that I'm going to be tossing into the filling. Ow! You already win with the sauces. <laughs> Unless people want normal stuff. Okay, let's start. Half a cup of uh, coconut water and I'm going to dissolve one third cup of cornstarch. That seems about right. We're going to set that aside. We have our saucepan here and I am going to add all-purpose cream, about one half cup as well. Melt that down a little with some brown sugar. So you kind of have to just mix that together until it's, the sugar is really dissolved. While that's still heating up, I'm going to chop up my coconut meat, about four cups of coconut meat. Put the coconut meat into the cream with sugar. And there, we're going to mix that together for a while until the coconut kind of softens up. Air One is apparently coming up with all this fancy schmancy things with coolies, mango coolies and all that stuff. But who knows, people might like the traditional way better than the whole abracadabra, I'm a chef kind of thing. Okay, it seems to have softened up a little. So now I'm going to slowly add in the coconut milk, uh, coconut water with cornstarch and kind of wait till that thickens up a little bit. While that's kind of heating up, I'm going to add I've some vanilla. I've never seen you sound I'm... so scared. Because <laughs> she's like, I'm going to do, do this. Because I'm not sure I'm what I'm doing. Do Can you hear this? that? Watch the curdle. Helping the opponent, yeah. are you? Yeah, because I'm fair. <coughs> <laughs> Some so cornstarch, when you have cornstarch in any, <laughs> you need to mix it. If you don't, then some parts will coagulate and some parts won't. So now you realize it is, it's actually already really thick. Yeah, so now and I'm going to take it off the, the fire, fire and yeah. I'm going to let this cool. Okay. Ooh, that looks like, um, have you ever seen a cat vomit? Mm. Kind of looks like that. It's going to look different when it's baked. Okay, so Selen is serving us a coconut brick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's gonna be very tasty. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this again. We're gonna see. Okay, let this cool and then that's my filling. That's it, guys. I just wanna take a minute to thank the sponsors of this video. Each time I actually post about this, people tell me all the time how useful it actually is. Um, so Skillshare is an online learning platform and community. The premium membership gives you an all access, unlimited pass to take the classes that you actually want to learn from. So I've recently been taking two different classes. The first one is Going Viral by Matt Balasai that covers writing for film, online content, and just to make sure that the words you put down on paper, or the scripts that you work, are optimized for the internet and the audience that is actually watching your content or reading your content on various social media platforms. The second is creating a modern cinematic documentary with Soul by Dan Dan Liu, which really just helps you focus on how to write, produce, edit, um, a modern documentary and I love how she completely detaches herself from all the previous old-school formats for documentaries and just gives you a, a really A to Z 
timeline and outlook on how to make one now. Skillshare is also really affordable. If you take the annual subscription, you're basically looking at $10 per month, which is much more affordable than taking face-to-face -face classes or other online classes. So this is the exciting part. Because Skillshare is actually sponsoring this video, if you click the link below in the description box, you actually get two month free trial. I've been posting about this for a while and everyone's been really positive about the feedback. So if you're trying to get into this kind of field or this industry, I really do highly recommend it. All right, so back to me hopefully winning. Similar start to Solan. One third cup of cornstarch, half cup of coconut water. Yeah. Goes with the cornstarch. Quickly you're gonna mix that together. See, so this is actually a fair challenge because this is the first time we both do a recipe we've never done before. True. So actually all sibling cook-offs should be like that. Okay, cornstarch, coconut water done. Um, I'm gonna get the fire back on. Half a cup of sugar. I'm gonna start with half a cup. If I need more, I can always add more. A bit of salt. I'm gonna let that melt a little bit first, just because I want kind of like that toastiness to the brown sugar. So sugar is almost melted. We're now gonna add some all-purpose cream. So I'm doing one third of a cup of cream and I'm doing one third of a cup of coconut cream. So that, I'm gonna add the coconut water and the cornstarch. Get all that to dissolve nicely. While that's happening, we're gonna go ahead and grate some of the coconut. 100% I'm gonna slice my hand if I do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and really finely chop it. To this, we're adding some vanilla. I have a bit of my dried mango syrup, so I just candied some mangoes, dried them out, and then made a syrup. And then to give it that extra kind of creaminess, I made some cashew cream. So I have like a slightly nutty flavor in there as well. So like, so Len looks really annoyed right now. Just letting you know. Give that a taste. So I'm not gonna let mine thicken all the way up, because while it cooks, it's gonna thicken up a bit more, I think. Guys, if you wanna build a house made of the co coconuts, <laughs> talk to Selen. She'll make it happen. You wanna try it? I wasn't talking to you, I was literally right there on the computer. Okay, now that we have the filling, we can go ahead and start making the pie. Okay, pie dough. Now you might want to section it first. So we're doing, remember we're doing two pies and two yaneras. You've made pie before. Yeah, a long time ago. What kind of pie did you make? Apple pie. <laughs> I'm not feeling so confident. So then feels so defeated already. She's so quiet. She's like, what the hell I am doing. I doing? She wants to give up already. <laughs> Kids, don't be quitters, okay? It's I'm important, never quit. So we have a friend that's a baker that's gonna be there tonight too. Time to fill them up. Yep. Oh, you're so heavy. <laughs> you're so funny. Look at this pro. <laughs> you do know that's useless, right? <laughs> it stretches it. All right, okay. let's fill these babies up. Mamacita, que buena. How do you do this? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I you forgot to put holes in my dough in the no, bottom. You Did you? No. Because then your dough at the bottom is just going to be super soggy if you don't poke it. Well, okay. Soggy bottoms for everyone. How do you do this? Do you pinch them? Do you roll it? I don't know. You can roll it, I guess. The blind leading the blind right now. Okay, I'm going to do one of these things that I see all the time where they pinch things together. Oh my god, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> cool little design. Mine looks like a big ravioli. It's not supposed to look like pasta, everyone. It's supposed to look like a pie. <laughs> Why are you looking at mine? <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Okay, this is it. That's it. Okay, done. That's as good as it's gonna get with me. Me too. Also, because it's hard, you don't do a pie in a yanera, FYI. That is true. Do we make holes on this also? No. Tea crabs. <laughs> at this point, so we should be helping each other out, okay? Yeah, I think so. For the air to seep through. I actually think, and probably people are gonna call us wrong on this, you're probably supposed to do holes in the bottom and not on the top. I'm pretty sure you do holes in the top. So I'm just putting some egg wash. This is the one thing I know how to do. 
just some egg and milk. some milk. All right, it looks like shit, but hopefully it tastes good. All right, so this goes in the oven for about 30 minutes. Is me, that the same recipe? Me, 10 minutes. If your dough is not sabotaging me. Let's see. I think it's going to be 30 minutes, but because the size is so small, it might cook faster also. Actually, yours looks slightly better than mine. We might be surprised. Don't be the fool by the looks. Oh, yours popped up nicely. Bam, look at that design, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Ravioli's alive, yo. Wait, are we, how are we doing this? We're cutting it first. Aren't we removing it? Do we remove it? Let's remove it. Let's figure out how we can remove it. <gasps> no, I just broke it. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. My, now yours looks like mine before it was cooked. I know, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, are we sure we had the same feeling? But I didn't do the crisscross, so for sure that's yours. This is not bad for a first try. Like, I'm gonna call it and say, at least both of us had a fairly successful buy. Well, yours did break. You suck. I can't even hold it. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. No bad. I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. <laughs> Felt like I put my in a butter wall. <laughs> really hot. Oh, I totally wrecked you on that. Huh, really? Yeah. Okay, you know what? We're still gonna bring it. We're still gonna get them to dry. We're gonna get these guys to try first. Mine is the traditional buko pie. See, it's good. But then when you try this, you're like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, masala po man, di ba? So for now, it's 2-0. Well, I know from the start. I even it's a sweet, zero. it's okay, yeah, Sauce. You don't have to be so pissed. Make sure you have dough and everything else. And we're done with this series. That's it, guys. <laughs> it seems like we will no longer be bringing the pies tonight because Selene has conceded defeat. Yes. Like a true winner, she also knows how to lose. So ladies and gentlemen, the moral of this story is Air One One. Goodbye. Again. <laughs> it's 2-2, two, two, bitches!